and how's it going everyone? It is Skullzy here with the latest and the greatest gaming news. The news that I have for you today is a new discovery that I just made involving Starfield. This information seems to suggest that Starfield is on track for a November 2020 release date and this discovery coincides with other things that I found here on the channel involving Starfield. As always, we'll be breaking this information down together because I'll be recording my screen that way you can see that my bullshit capacity meter is always running at 0% and that way you can look up this information to verify it for yourself if you choose to. And we're gonna start our adventure right here at our old friend, the most recent list of Bethesda Game Studios job postings for Rockville, Maryland, meaning specifically Bethesda Game Studios headquarters office or the office that is working on Starfield and eventually The Elder Scrolls 6. I have it set to where only the most recent job postings are on this list. Some of these job postings are repeats because Bethesda is either hiring multiple people for this position or they're waiting to hire people and being very specific about who they hire, but either way, I keep daily tabs on this job list so I know which ones are repeats and which ones are brand new job postings. And as I have said in previous videos, the most recent job postings can be used to kind of identify what is going on within the secretive inner workings of Bethesda Game Studios, and that's what we're going to be doing today with this job posting right here for a QA supervisor. Now immediately you might recognize, because like I said earlier in the video, this discovery will kind of go along with other ones that I made involving Starfield, and I believe last month or a few weeks ago, I discovered a job posting for just a basic Q&A level job, not a Q&A supervisor, and what Q&A is is quality assurance, which is basically game testing. They're hiring a bunch of game testers for Bethesda Game Studios, specifically in Maryland, which means that Starfield is definitely going through its final stages of game testing before its release. And like I said, that lines up perfectly for a late 2020 release date. Bethesda Game Studios usually likes to release their games in November. And now with this recent discovery of a Q&A supervisor, this is another big piece of evidence to this theory that Starfield is definitely coming this year. The fact that they're looking for specifically a Q&A supervisor at this point tells me that they probably have a lot of people with a Q&A position testing Starfield, and now they're going to have somewhat of a mini department within Bethesda Game Studios specifically for game testing. I'm sure they've had a game testing department and people working Q&A already, but definitely with all of the bugs that have been going on with Fallout 76, and basically every other Bethesda Game Studios game ever, it is a good thing to see that they're expanding this Q&A game testing department because if they're hiring another supervisor, that means they've increased their just base Q&A staff significantly. And this is great news. Now let's go ahead and break down this Q&A supervisor job just a little bit to see specifically what this job entails. If we go to ZeniMax's main website to look up this information, we can specifically look for Rockville, Maryland jobs and we can find the Q&A job tester supervisor position right here somewhere on this list. There it is. You can see the overview is Bethesda Softworks is currently looking for an experienced Q&A tester to join the team. This is a hands-on project leader department supervisor Q&A test position working with AAA multi-platform games. It combines expert testing ability with the management skills required to oversee and guide large teams. And as you can tell by the wording in just the overview here, this is a mix of being a good game tester as well as a good manager, which is essentially what you would need for a Q&I supervisor position that seems kind of obvious, but seeing it in Bethesda's own words makes it even more obvious what this is for. Now in previous videos I would go through the entire list and read you word for word all of the qualifications and all of the responsibilities. But honestly, that just kind of seemed like it was kind of a cheap way to extend the time of the video. That's not what I was really doing. But if you do want to read specifically the qualifications or the responsibilities for, for these job postings, then you can just by pausing the video or by clicking on the link up here and reading it for yourself. Keep in mind that these job postings usually uh, disappear quite often as Bethesda fills these positions. Sometimes they linger around and get reposted over and over again, but usually the ones that are like supervisor or producer or positions or just higher up executive or management positions aren't around for too long because they're usually just looking for one or two people and especially for a company as noteworthy as Bethesda Game Studios or Bethesda Softworks in general, these these positions are going to get a lot of applicants. But if I do ever see anything that stands out to me or that is weird within the qualifications or responsibilities for any of these job postings, I'll definitely uh, let you know. But for now, there's nothing in here, just the basic game tester and management stuff and the pretty strict qualifications 
implications that Bethesda Game Studios has when they hire people. But now that I've broken down my discovery of this QA supervisor position, where do we go from here in terms of Starfield or whatever this means? As you can see, the job position specifically says Bethesda Softworks and not just Bethesda Game Studios. However, my search requirements were Bethesda Game Studios near Rockville, Maryland, and Rockville, Maryland is also where Bethesda Softworks has a major office as well, so I can see why the job posting would say Bethesda Softworks and not just Bethesda Game Studios. However, with this location in Rockville, Maryland, I am almost certain that this position is for testing Bethesda Game Studios games as well as other games for Bethesda Softworks. This is probably a game testing division for the entirety of Bethesda Softworks. They're going to be testing games from Machine Games, from id Studios, from Tango, and from Bethesda Game Studios. But with all of the other Q&A job postings that I've had in the past that were specifically for Bethesda Game Studios, combined with the fact that this is a Q&A supervisor position for Bethesda Softworks in general, leads me to believe that this Q&A supervisor position is directly linked to the Q&A game tester positions that were specifically for Bethesda Game Studios that I reported on here on the channel in previous videos. Maybe it says Bethesda Softworks in the supervisor position because if you're a supervisor or executive or any kind of management within ZeniMax or Bethesda Softworks, even if you work specifically within Bethesda Game Studios offices, you are still considered a Bethesda Softworks employee rather than a Bethesda Game Studios employee just because of your management status and because you would be more closer to the corporate side of things than you would be if you were like a game developer on the ground level of Bethesda Game Studios Maryland. But that's just me kind of speculating on how stuff usually works within the corporate office sphere. I'm not exactly familiar with how things work within the inner workings of Bethesda Game Studios. I'm just kind of speculating on that. But the main summary is that this Q&A supervisor position is directly connected to the Q&A game tester positions that Bethesda Game Studios had recently, and this is further evidence to suggest that Starfield is in its final stages of game testing, which means it's on track for a November 2020 release date. Of course, this is all educated speculation based upon discoveries like this, but be sure to take all of this with a grain of salt going forward. But as always, what I want to know is what do you think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this job posting and when you think we're finally going to get Starfield, and if your comment wins the internet and make it featured in a future video. If you enjoy the content and you liked the video, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot more than you might think. And if you want to stay in the know when it comes to the latest gaming news, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss the latest content. Follow me over on Twitter for the latest channel updates. Come over to the official Skullsy Discord chat server where there is always an awesome and active conversation and some speculation taking place. If you want to get some awesome hype Skullsy merch, be sure to check out Loot Drop over on Teespring. And if you want to have your hand in providing future updates like this and getting access to unique and awesome awards, then consider subscribing to the community over on Patreon or joining the channel here on YouTube as an exclusive channel member. Links for all of these awesome things are down in the description below and as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when I think of something to say because I can't think of anything right now and I'll get back to you.